The ultrasonic cardiac output monitor made by USCOM is the most accurate and user-friendly cardiac monitoring device on the market. This non-invasive machine provides hemodynamic data in real time. That's beat-to-beat -beat information, immediately. No other clinical method can do this. It's also the only device that can monitor cardiac performance on both the left and right sides of the heart. We believe this is the new clinical gold standard for accuracy of measurement and sensitivity of measurement of hemodynamic change. Compared to the current clinical gold standard, our device is more accurate at baseline and more sensitively detects changes. And of course our device is non-invasive also. Our cardiac group is interested in getting a treatment modality. And cardiac output is a treatment modality. USCOM is the only truly accurate non-invasive system. We find USCOM valuable uh, because of its mobility, because of its easy accessibility, and its ability to give us an answer when we want it 24 hours a day. To calculate left cardiac output using the USCOM ultrasonic cardiac output monitor, a small non-invasive probe is placed in the suprasternal notch, aiming directly down the longitudinal axis of the ascending aorta and across the aortic valve. Using USCOM's beam acoustics technology, the probe emits a very broad continuous wave Doppler ultrasound signal which is used to calculate the ejection velocity of blood as it exits the aortic valve. Heart rate is also monitored. The diameter of the aortic valve is directly proportional to the patient's height and is accurately calculated using the USCOM algorithm. Aortic cardiac output is determined using heart rate, VTI and valve cross-sectional area. Pulmonary cardiac output is evaluated the same way via the pulmonary valve using a parasternal approach. This revolutionary device will provide essential hemodynamic data in emergency settings, intensive care, surgery, electrophysiology, paediatrics and general practice. It can be used by clinicians, emergency department staff, nurses and paramedics. The best part of USCOM is its portability. We sort of call it CCO on the go. Wherever you need it, you can get it. We've used it in ambulances. Uh, we've used it in people that didn't have uh, instrumentation that we went to get. We've used it for recently arrived people before we could instrument them. Uh, but it's, it's readily available if you need it in the emergency room, if you need it up in the unit, if you need it in the operating room. You can just bring the machine everywhere very, very easily. Now we've got an ability to measure your cardiac output, initiate some treatment, review the cardiac output, because at the end of the day that's what heart failure is. It's a lack of cardiac output. How do you know if you're going in the right way if you don't measure it? And to us it seems as fundamental as you wouldn't dream of treating hypertension without measuring the patient's blood pressure. Why treat cardiac failure without measuring their cardiac output? Uh, we find it very valuable in the underserved pediatric intensive care population where traditionally these patients could not be monitored to get cardiac output. In our heart failure patients, in our babies that are in heart failure, we find that non-invasively, safely, without uh, any source of infection because of invasion, we can get a cardiac output and follow their uh, progress or lack of progress towards a bridge to transplant or a device, whatever. You can learn to operate the device in a couple of hours, but uh, efficiency comes after perhaps using the device for uh, two or three days, and uh, the more you do, the better you get. It's a simple matter to uh, acquire the signal. We've got the transducer here. Put a little bit of gel on the end of it. Commonest place to start would be suprasternal, so we'll try that. You'll notice that as the flow profiles are appearing, they're real-time being traced by flow tracer, which is a very accurate method of beat-to-beat -beat measurement of Doppler flow profiles. So that if we want to look here at cardiac output, that reads out the cardiac output number for each of those beats, we can now transfer down and by accessing parasternally, we can get 
right-sided output in exactly the same way, which provides exactly the same hemodynamic parameters that we had on the left side of the heart. Flow profile values of all variables can be stored and mapped to provide trend information. This allows immediate, non-invasive assessment of interventions that affect hemodynamics. The USCOM device is the only system in the world that can do this. I think the really important thing about this machine is that it is simple to use, it's cost effective and it will improve haemodynamic management in a variety of clinical indications. I'd have to say it's transformed our clinical practice. Um, I think in my 25 years in anaesthetics there have probably been three or four major developments. The pulse oximeter, the development of MRI scanning, and I think this is right up there with those. It's brought about a very fundamental change in the whole way we think about anaesthetics and intensive care and critical care, simply because we can now go back to the very basics of physiology that we could never do before. This machine is saving lives. There's no two ways about it.